Shalom, and welcome to another edition of Q&A with Pastor Scott Villane, where we try to answer your biblical questions in 10 minutes or less. I'm Pastor Scott Villane with Holy Impact Ministries, and our selected question of the day is, is there such a thing as a biblical 4th of July? You know, it may surprise you to know that there is such a thing as a biblical Independence Day that can be found within the pages of our Bibles. The 4th of July here in the United States is also known as Independence Day. Independence Day here in the United States is the anniversary of the publication of the Declaration of Independence from Great Britain in 1776. It was at that point in time when the United States became free from the rule of Great Britain and her king and the tyrannical reach of Roman Catholicism, which is exactly what the pilgrims and many of the earlier settlers were running from when they came here to the United States. What's important for today's Christian to understand is that this Independence Day that is celebrated here in the United States is nothing compared to the Independence Day that is soon to come when our Messiah returns to the earth to set up his soon coming kingdom. On the 4th of July, also known as Independence Day, here in the United States, we honor those who fought and died for our freedom and for our independence and we remember what it took to break free from the tyrannical bondage of both church and state, created by tyrannical men in the forms of kings and popes. And this is exactly why we don't have a sitting king here in the United States. But I would submit to you that an even greater Independence Day is rapidly approaching those who have picked up their crosses and have decided to follow after the only begotten Son of the one true God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob who came to reestablish mankind with his Father in heaven, who gave him the unfolding plan of salvation that came directly from the one true God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This Declaration of Independence that our Messiah came to deliver to us is a a declaration of independence from not only sin, but it is also a declaration of independence from depression, pain, sickness, and yes, even death. The Declaration of Independence that the Bible speaks of is called the New Covenant, and that New Covenant can be found in Jeremiah chapter 31, verses 31 through 33 in the Old Testament, and it can be found again in the New Testament in the book of Hebrews chapter 10, verses 15 through 17, as well as many other places throughout our scripture. This New Declaration of Independence, also known as the New Covenant, is all about our Father writing His laws in the hearts and in the minds of His people. And according to our Messiah's own red-letter words in the book of Luke, chapter 22, verse 20, it was his very blood that poured out this new covenant upon his people. A much larger Independence Day is soon coming and can be found in Revelation, chapter 21. Revelation, chapter 21. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them as their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. The biblical declaration of independence has already been signed and sealed, but it won't be fully delivered until we get to Revelation chapter 21, when a new heaven and a new earth are brought forth. This will be when all things are accomplished. And this declaration of independence will be signed, sealed, and delivered by the one true God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the only begotten Son that he sent to deliver his declaration of independence. We will indeed be free from sin, free from pain, free from sickness, and yes, even death. So if you're celebrating the Declaration of Independence here in the United States this week, be thankful. And remember that freedom does not come free. Freedom always comes at a price here on this earth. But the Declaration of Independence from Sin is a freedom from sin that came with no price for we who have faith and believe in the only begotten Son of Yahovah. Our debt was paid in full by our Messiah, 
who would deliver a greater declaration of independence to us when he comes not to deal with sin, but to deal with the sinner. My hope and my prayer is that you'll enjoy your 4th of July here on earth, but that you will also be looking intently forward to the greater Independence Day that is about to be brought down from the realm of heaven itself. Now, go read your Bible and read it from the beginning to the end and not from the middle to the end. You'll be glad you did. Thanks for listening.